Welcome, we're doing some Town Hall 11 3 stars and 2 stars and what's the difference of them, base design as well, so be sure to watch to the end of the video, a lot of good stuff. So this is a Town Hall 11 attack 3 star, look at this, no king on the offensive side, but let me first tell you, this base design is no longer an option at the Town Hall 11 level or Town Hall 10, this 4 corner base, it is a terrible design and if you have it right now, get rid of it, it is not the way to go. And that's that's why on these attacks, the couple I show you, the three stars, they are because of poor base designs, and the two star attacks at the Town Hall 11 level is because there's good base designs. And we're going to break it down, why is this bad and why is it good? So when you're thinking about base designs for the Town Hall 11 level, you need to separate your Inferno Towers and your Eagle Artillery. Because when you have bowlers, and that's the most main attack these days at Town Hall 11 level, or sometimes Valkyries, but it's usually bowlers. Look at this. He drops 10 first, and then I like the strategy. Holds off on 10 bowlers uh, in just a little bit. And so what happens is those back-end bowlers that he held off on, they're going to actually go to the core and make sure they pack to the core. And once those bowlers are in the core, this game, I mean, this raid is over and total destruction. And the reason why you don't put all your powerful units in one compartment is the bowlers just wipe it out. As you can tell, those Inferno Towers did nothing against those bowlers. And he doesn't even have a king in this attack. I mean, this is how uh, powerful this base is. Yes, it wasn't a max defensive base, but the hero were pretty max um, everything was max except the walls and some of the cannons but otherwise than that very hard base if it had a great war base design do not use the four corners ever in your Town Hall 11 attacks or Town Hall 10 uh, for the defense. This is another attack here. This is a two star. It should have been a three star and I'll tell you why what happened. Now the same sort of strategy uh, as the first attack except the non-max non warden. This is actually a harder base but again this kind of uh, f not quite a four corner but most all of the defenses are in the core and that spells doom for any defender. Do not do it at all. So the reason why this attack failed, and it was just kind of unfortunate, and sometimes this happens, the AI of the queen, uh, she got distracted. Look, she went to the outside instead of pathing into the core of the base. And that is the one reason why this attack failed. It would have been a three star if the queen had gone to the core. Look, she's way off in the corner doing nothing, just taking down pretty much no important structures at that. And so there's too much firepower in the center there. She needed to be in the core to help take down those inferno towers hours and kind of the back end units and otherwise it would have been a three star again this is not a good base design any base designs where it's not compartmentalized where you have one inferno tower on one end and the other on the other the other inferno on uh, say the other end and your eagle artillery separate uh, that is what you need for a base design I'm gonna about to show you in just a couple videos here of good bases and that's why they successfully defended so this here is an attack from uh, uh, our enemy opponent. This is a good base design. Look at it. You have one Inferno Tower separated as well as the other. So that way if the goal, I mean when the bowlers come into the core of the base, they're not going to be able to take them down quickly. And the Eagle Artillery is protected by that Town Hall. You know, the the, the things are, that, that is, the little things like that matter. Now most people attack from Eagle Artillery side. And this attack, I would have come from the Eagle Artillery side because the Eagle Artillery really does great damage to those bowlers if it locks onto them. Now, as far as giant placement, I mean uh, double bomb placement, you need to place your double bombs away from where you think the attacker is going to enter. So he's obviously entering from the west here. So what you want to do, you want to have your double giant bombs uh, opposite side where he enters because when they place that warden ability, uh, the first double giant bombs will be pointless. Again, this attack failed. You don't bring two giant, uh, two golems. Two golems at the Town Hall 11 level are worthless. They don't do anything. One is definitely enough, and that's all you need at this level. So. Don't do it that way and it'll be fine. Uh, again, the funnel was, look, those two double giant bombs, they were pointless. They they took down, the golems triggered them and nothing happened there. He was early on his Eagle Tome ability, so a uh, bad one there at that. And the bowlers, there was no funnel created uh, because of this base is very difficult. They're spread out 
Every, the, uh, the defensive structures are spread out, so the bowlers get confused as far as where to go, and they can't hit multiple structures at once. And so look at that. That extra Inferno Tower is just really stopping this raid in its tracks. And look, fail. Failed attack, max on max, failed attack. Well, not failed, but a two star. And of course, the three star is what you can get these days and try to get. This is another difficult base. This is using Valkyries. I wanted to show you some Valkyrie attacks. So these are very common attack of defensive war bases. Take some snapshot of these. These have been proven in war. Uh, of course, he's on this type of base, the queen walk is going to be used. And he is going to be able to take down a lot of defensive units because they're on the outside. So that is definitely um, cause for concern. And he does bring in the wall breakers to take down that air defense. Very smart here. And to get the king. But what you will find out is he did not funnel properly and I cannot stress this enough, funneling is the key. Whenever I fail attacks at the Town Hall 10 level, I don't funnel right. Whenever I fail attacks at the Town Hall level, any level, I, if you don't funnel right, it'll go wrong. Look, the Valkyries, oh no, they went the wrong way. He just placed them a little too north. If he just placed them a little to the south, they would have gone to the core of the base. So very unfortunate for the attacker there. But even if the uh, Valkyries had gone to the center, as you can tell, those Inferno Towers were spread out so they wouldn't be able to take them out all in one fell swoop. So important when you're doing base design. So let me find some more two-star attacks here. Um, here's a three-star, but I think this is low. Yeah, this is not a good good one to, uh, to use. It's not a good enough defense. I'm not going to show that. Let me show you some more higher-end ones here at this level so again this is the same base you saw before and different attacker but using the miners so this base has been proven against bowlers and now against miners uh and this attacker actually was a solid attacker i mean he knew what he was doing obviously creating the funnel using the king and queen on when one end um and then the uh, valkyries when they come into the core see the thing about these bases is it's spread out as I said before, they're spread out, so when you enter in your troops, they get a little confused, they get sidetracked, aren't taken out. Now, here I would have actually tried to deal with the clan castle maybe before I drop um, some of my miners. I mean, let the king and queen do their work and then do the miners and take out that clan castle. But nonetheless, he did it this way. Why did this one fail? Uh, I think the main thing is he was a little bit hasty on his heel placement. He used two heels really, really on top of each other. He didn't need to do that. Look at the uh, uh, miners to the north and to the south. They needed some healing there. And he might have been able to uh, get that three star if he was a little more patient on his spell placement. Spell placement is very critical uh, at any town hall level. And sometimes, you know, it goes well and sometimes it doesn't. Again, you can't three star every base. For instance, the AI gets screwy sometimes or you accidentally uh, misplace some heal placements. So it's very difficult to three star at bases. Uh, here's another base design. Um, let's see, I'm not going to do this one. The attacker is doesn't have the uh, firepower as I want. Let's do this one. This base design against mass miners again. Now this base, although the Inferno Towers are spread out, it could be a little better. It's very compartmentalized, which is good, but I think bowlers would have been better on this attack. Why use bowlers here? Well, look at this. If you come in from where he is coming in this angle, the bowlers would have taken down the Inferno Tower and the Eagle Artillery all at once and had the jump spell, and for the follow-up Inferno Tower, we would have brought a freeze and they would have been able to take it down. So miners, you know, I don't think were the best for this base. Because everything was so clumped together, you want to use bowlers. Things more spread out, I think miners do a little better job. Because, see, the bowlers would have ripped through all those uh, units there uh, in the core because everything was grouped together. So not the greatest base um, in the world, but obviously it offended against this attack. So I guess you have to def d decide, will the attacker use miners or bowlers? Look at their, scout their base, see if they have miners upgraded or bowlers upgraded. If they have max miners, they're probably going to come minor attack. If they don't have max bowlers, they're not going to use bowlers. So I always say that in my videos, just do a little scouting from the enemy attacker, usually maybe your mirror attacker or the top couple, maybe top two attackers and see how they're going to use and come against you. 
Uh, just kind of you know using some strategy, guys. Uh, taking the extra step, going the extra mile to find out what the enemy attacker is, because a lot of people still do mirror attacks. Uh, and you're planning with the odds. You know, most top clans don't do mirror attacks, but a lot of clans still do. And so you just scout out your mirror and see what they're packing for as far as offense ability. Uh, I'm going to quickly just run through. No, I'm not even going to show that one. Let's see. So already we've seen a bunch of two star and three star. And as you can tell, the main difference between the three stars and the two stars is your base layout war base strategy so bear that in mind when you're dealing with war bases what in the world here's a live attack but what in the world is this guy doing 24 wizards i mean this is old time strategy he's using i guess mass golem attack this is gonna spell doom from the very beginning i already know it there's he might even get he might not even get one star he'll probably get one star for percentage wise but he's definitely not going to get a two star so let's see how it goes i'm very curious maybe this is a new strategy he's working out maybe it's going to work but i dial i doubt it because the golems are just taken out by the eel artillery way too much so here comes the wizards dropping down and look they all path towards the edges uh this is a fail i'm not even oh my goodness total fail he's gonna get hoodwinked destroyed okrified anyways i'm gonna skip that uh ugly don't do that anyway see you next time halo out